Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now let's transform into the new critter that we can transform into known as the octopus. And with the octopus's power, we can go inside the dirty water without taking damage, of course. I mean, you could go into it before, but you'd take damage. <laughs> And this will enable me to clear out the rest of the area, for the most part. The swampy area south of us. Well, it's, it is a harbor, so I guess it's polluted ocean more than it is a swamp, so to speak. So here we are. Oh yeah, we can jump and we can spit with the B button. And this is quite handy, except against you guys. Because <laughs> you got a ranged attack now, oh yeah. So now what we can do here is first I'm going to start by going over here because it's much safer to do this when you're an octopus. As note over here on this precarious patch of land here. By the way, the uh, black oil takes off two of your health as opposed to the green which will take off one of your health. Just thought I would make a mention of that just because. Um, already got that. Yeah, this is cleared out. There isn't anything more over here. Okay, good, very good. <laughs> so up here, well not up here, I'm going down here. I'm gonna plop in the water. There is another token. That's all five. This is why I'm doing the uh, harbor, I mean the water portion of this with the octopus because it is just so much safer to do this with uh, an octopus as opposed to not. And this is the kid that wants the ice cream cone. Hey, mister! You, you like birth, don't you? Uh, what? <laughs> Already got it, though. It's probably melted by now. I'm sorry, I but if you like ice cream soup, well, here you go. <laughs> it wasn't easy to get. What are you talking about? All you had to do was kill three Maggie birds. Oh, whatever. And with that, he's going to go back to Mama. Uh, you can't do anything on this boat otherwise. I'm just going to swim around this area to show you. There's an invisible wall around this place, and there's also canisters, uh, kegs, barrels, whatever you want to call them, along the sides there. That, that's likely what is polluting the ocean, actually. It's nice, nice touch, I have to say. Uh, you can only get that jiggy with the octopus because you can jump really high out of water. You got special powers with, when you're an octopus in water. Yeah! Yeah! So I'm gonna get it, go up there later and get it. Uh, when I can. These uh, stuff that you can collect is very easy to get as an octopus. And you'll notice that I missed, uh, not missed, I uh, skipped out on a hollow honeycomb over there because I wanna. Well, I guess I could show you that now, why not? Because that's not the pipe that I have to go into. Uh, this is an exit pipe. This is the only way out of this uh, harbor area aside from a sewer place. Go through here. You get pooped out this place above Mr. Drippy's, but at this moment in time, it's kind of pointless, so I'm going to jump back in here and clear out more of the uh, ocean area. Uh, there's more kegs. Actually, maybe I cleared out everything here. just want to make sure I'm taking another run through here. I don't, didn't miss anything. Inside that pipe to the right there is uh, where I'm going next. Probably giving you motion sickness, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, this is the Mucky Passage. You get pr you get pushed through here automatically. It's no big deal though, though because you get you got yourself some defense. You got yourself ammunition. Unlimited ammunition at that. So don't even worry about the shrapnels. You can shoot them down. As well as these green whiplashes. No problem. You can't get up here, so that other one up there is just detailing. Uh, this, this game has a lot of great detailing in general, actually. They definitely put a lot of work into the graphics department. I know that graphics don't make a game or anything like that, but it's it's nice to note uh, whenever they do a lot of... It's, I mean, when they do a good job with stuff, stuff like that. Uh, oh. uh, that pipe over there, you can't go inside. It's the perspective. It only looks like it's attached to the wall, but it's actually not. Uh, this one over here... 
You also can't go inside. You can try, try your best, but you will not be able to go inside this pipe, no matter what you do. Just thought I would make a mention of that, but so that you don't think I am missing, <sighs> telling you about something I need. That note. Thank you. <laughs> I need every note. No note will go unturned or uncollected. <sighs> unturned. I think this area actually has the last of the notes that I need. <laughs> Luckily, they don't cause any more damage than the usual riplash. And there's the last two, and a jiggy! Woo! Thank you, thank you. I was bawling there, but you couldn't see me. <laughs> and this also poops you out that spot. Now, um... I think I'm done with the need for being an octopus, so... I am going to go back to Mumbo and detransform myself, and then go back up to the other area and finish it off. Yes, I would. Baron Bird, please. These transformations kind of take longer than they need to, or I should say, longer than they should. In all honesty, <clears throat> honesty, honestly, wow. This is what I get when I record five parts in a row. My commentary and stuff... No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> My commentary starts to swagger, but I didn't want to quit while I had this level in mind, you know, with what I did and didn't do already. So I just continued on, kept recording. And here we are. <laughs> uh, Jinjo Oracle, you have a jiggy for me, don't you? Yes, you do. Yay! more to go and the last two jiggies are in this area actually the freezing furnace is the next area yeah it's a uh, contradicting name there but you'll see why it's called the freezing furnace once we get there it makes a whole lot more sense and do you have something for me now yes you do I got both your kids back and <laughs> Jiggy! Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy! Yeah! Let's see our totals here. Um, I think there's only one thing left, and that's at that minigame up there. Yep! Sounds awesome! Ooh, what am I gonna do to fill out the remainder of this part? <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna fail at this minigame hard enough that I'm gonna have to play it multiple times? I don't know! But it's, yeah, it's yet another slide minigame. But this one's different. You have to race him to the bottom. And you gotta use zippers and avoid the obstacles along the way. So they do make this uh, slide minigame different just like the other ones. Like they, like they clearly reuse engines in this game, but they make them different enough that they're interesting to replay, so to speak, in a different way. Oh man, he sure is confident. Oh, and I call those red and yellow arrows zippers because of the game Diddy Dong. Diddy Dong, oh my god, my commentary. Diddy Kong Racing, which is what they call the boost panels in that. You drive over them and you get a speed boost. Alright, mini game! Let's do it! You can tell who's in the lead based on the. Uh, thingy on the right there that was very descriptive there whatever head ah whatever head is up top is the one that's in the lead this ah, they give you a lot of room for error in this so don't worry if you make too many mistakes just try and react in time you should be fine your pace is um, sliding down the slide is actually faster than him on that parachute off to the left there, so you really don't have to worry about him uh, getting a jump on you. Oh! Go, 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 Banjo, go! Go, Banjo, go! Yeah! And we apparently reached the bottom. That was the bottom. And you get pooped out here, where the last Jiggy is! Woohoo! Yeah! Feels good, baby. Feels good. <laughs> Uh, I guess to fill out the remainder of this part, I could unlock the next level. Because the next level is actually in uh, this area right here. I already explored this part. Uh, I can I can do so. 
without having to worry about you not seeing the next part. Um, over here is the next level. I'll just show you it one more time, why not? Right here. This is the Freezing Furnace. And that is what I'm going down there to unlock. I hate when they make you backtrack so much though, sometimes in games. But I guess it's not that much of uh, backtracking, but still. It's, it's the fact that, you know, they could just simply unlock levels as you go based on the, the jiggies that you collect. That's just a pet peeve of mine, I suppose. It's not that intrusive, but as I said, pet peeve. <laughs> um, I am nearly there. And I'm just unlocking this level for the sake of speediness in the next part. I can't believe it, but we're nearly done with the game already. I thought this was going to take me a whole lot longer, but I guess my practice run uh, through this game really helped to uh, familiarize myself with the game. I, I like how that jiggy pushes in and then the door panels open as if the jiggy was the, like the lock of sorts, because you know how puzzle pieces if you ever did a jigsaw puzzle and tried to like separate the pieces um, without actually lifting them away from each other, you'd notice that they hold fast. And that's kind of a nice touch there. I think that's a, a reference to that. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. And what it requires 50 jiggies to get to the last area, which is actually the final boss. Minor spoilers there. <laughs> mm, okay, okay. And I'm probably gonna end up putting the final boss in its own part, so I gotta plan my video time accordingly, hopefully. Or hopefully I'll be able to do so. And I'll, I'll walk up to the next level to fill out the part. Why not? <laughs> Actually, isn't there stuff that I can do now? Oh yeah, yeah, there is stuff that I can do now. I can use this as a shortcut panel now. That's kind of interesting. Oh, up on top, you can actually go on top of uh, Honeybee's Hive here. It doesn't really help you to go up there, but you can go up there. <laughs> but now that I got these panels active, I can go up here and get more notes and a jiggy. Woo! And you can also combine the flip-flap with those panels, which is pretty handy. Um... Let's see, anything else? No? Well, I can get that Jinjo. For the, for the remainder, remainder of this part, I'm like, well, I can do, I can get, I think there is. <laughs> it's all just like speculation at this point to me. Um, hmm. Can I get... Oh god. Can I get the Jinjo up here? Oh, I can! I can clear this area all safely. Because I have- Oh! I can't go in the lava with that? Really? Seriously? I thought I could go in the lava with that. Well, my memory failed me once again. <laughs> I can get the rest of the notes. I can kill off the red spookos. Wait, wh wh where am I missing a note? Wh wh I thought the last couple of notes were here. Oh no. Oh no, that's gonna bug me. That's gonna bug me terribly. Is it over here? Oh no, where am I missing a note? <laughs> Uh-oh. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna go around here again. Yeah, that's a wall. It's on a, it's on a place that you can freely jump to. Um... Did I miss a note off to the left? I know there's more stuff that I can do at uh, Spiral Mountain, but I miss notes. No? Oh, I'm frightened as to where I missed the notes. Seems like an irrational fear, but this is a pretty large area. <laughs> I'll kill you for the heck of it. Was there a note behind this tree? No? Oh, boy. I am not going to end off this part until I get the last note for the sake of organization. <laughs> hmm. Where... Wait, what are my totals for um, Spiral Mountain anyway? I'm pretty close to finishing this place. 
Oh, I think I know where. It is, um, over by this ledge. It's behind the fire. I think I can get that now, actually. Over there, yep, that's where it is. You can use ice eggs to freeze out yeah, the fire over there. It doesn't really make much sense. I would think water eggs would make more sense. Well, maybe not, because the fire turns the ice to water. And there's the last note. Woo! Yeah. And that also means this place is pretty much 100%ed for the most part. At least up, you know, to what I can do at the moment. Um, over here, as you can tell, since this is no surprise, there's going to be a uh, a panel under there to let you get up there and get up to Grunty's lair. Uh, let's just go back up. Wait, wait, not back up, back down to the Jinjo Oracle. Whoa, too far to the right. My sense of direction has always been terrible. And there we go. Spiral Mountain is indeed 100% except for the boss up there at uh, Grunty's Lair. And for good measure. By the way, from the totals here, you can check any world in the game by simply pressing left and right, I mean left or right on the D-pad. And then we're going to see the incomplete Bad Magic Bayou because I don't have the transformation to get the last jiggy there. Spiller's Harbor looks good to me. Freezing Furnace, the last level of the game. Well, I'm at like 17 some minutes, I think it says on the camera. Or it's gonna be 17, excuse me. So I'll just take a walk over there. Why not save some time for the next part? Let's go up here. And with that, I'm gonna end off the parts. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. But, to end it off, enjoy the new music.